Now in this particular video of C language we are going to do some more operations with the pointers and here we will observe like what is the pointer arithmetics and what is the scaling factor. So you'd have observed like when we are defining any pointer variable we are using a data type asterisk symbol and then the name of that pointer variable. And every time when I discussed about pointer I said like doesn't matter what is the data type you have specified it is only going to store the address doesn't matter what kind of data type you have specified it is going to allocate the same amount of memory. So what is the use of these data types what, which we have mentioned and why it is required. So here in the pointer arithmetics means whenever we do some arithmetic with the addresses those data types will come in action. So let's have a look like here since pointers store the address and we can't exactly see that. So here I just try to show you some memory blocks. So you just consider that each check that you are watching here is a memory block of one byte. And just to make it easy, I have shown the address in the numbers format, not in the hexadecimal format. It is a simple double decimal number format. So 101, one byte, 102, one byte, each are having one byte. And it's a continuous memory allocation just for the size. I just break them into multiple lines. Now. Whenever you define any variable of integer type like int a, so what happens? It allocates 4 byte in the memory, a long integer I'm talking about, the default here it's 4 byte and then after you store any value into that. So how that memory is actually allocated? So if you have defined any data type of 4 byte then it is going to allocate like that. It will be a continuous memory allocation of 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 blocks continue, consist, consistently 4 blocks will get allocated, will be merged like this logically. And here the base location that address was 123, 124, 125, 126. These 4 blocks got merged logically and the base address is 123. So whenever I want to access this particular variable from the address I will say 123 not 124 not 125 not 126 and when this is the address 123 is an address of integer right when I will add 1 into this it will not be 124 logically when I add a number 123 to 1 it will give us 124 but since it's not a number it's an address here so when I will add 1 into it, what will happen? It will just give me 127. That's the next address available. So here you can see there is a difference of 4. And this is only possible because when we are defining an integer, all right, it will, it's like int asterisk ip integer pointer. So when you have stored this particular address in an integer pointer, and if you are making an increment, so because it is an integer pointer it will give you 127 means the difference between the two consecutive address will be of 4 bytes. If it is not an integer pointer if you will store the character point if you will store any address in a character pointer like this it will not give you a correct arithmetic. So that is why during the definition of any pointer variable the data type is required. We can define a pointer of void type. Void pointer which we have not covered yet practically but void pointer also locates 8 bytes in memory but the scaling factor is 0 because void always means 0 means it's not going to do return anything so it's blank but integer allocates 4 bytes and since the pointer is of integer type it knows like since I'm of integer kind of pointer so our scaling factor is 4. A scaling factor means when you do any arithmetic the previous value will be 4 means the difference will be of 4 bytes. Similarly here you can see if it's a double kind of variable double allocate 8 bytes so it is 2203 Next available address is 211. So this is all about the scaling factors. 
If it is not proper, then it will means the allocation will not be done either. So for moving in the memory, you can use plus plus minus minus for one step jump for, uh, backward or forward. Or you can also use plus or minus if you want to jump two, three places directly. So let's see a very practical implementation here. Like it's an array. We have already noticed like array is nothing. Name of array is nothing but a constant pointer. We have already discussed that, right? So here what you can see, I have stored the address of array in this PTR without using ampersand because it holds the base address, all right? Now, array itself holds the base address and it assigned the value to PTR. You can't do arithmetic with ARR. Why? Because I said it is a constant pointer. And since it is constant, the value cannot be changed. It will keep pointing the zeroth block. So if I want to see how these this array is allocated, let's have a look on that all as well. So here, let's consider this array allocated the memory like that, all right? With the value 11, 22, and 33. Now, let's discuss about the address. It's all, address is all about imagination. So if I'll say like the base address is 101, then what will be the next address? Since it is of integer kind of array, the next address will be 105. After that, it will be 109. All right. I just imagined the base address. After that, I can calculate. All right. So you can see there is a difference of 4 every time. 101, 105, 109. So if PTR has the value 101, which is the pointer, all right, so here I started writing a loop. So PTR holds this means it will give you the address. Then I, what is I? I is the value here. All right, because I printed I, so zero. And then again the value. After that, you see, it is making PTR plus plus. Normally, if it's a point, if it's a normal integer, plus plus will increment the value by 1 but here this 101 is not an integer value it is a pointer value it's an address so when this ptr plus plus will be done its value will be changed from 101 to 105 and further it will again be changed from 105 to 109 and so on so let's have a practical implementation of the same thing and see how this pointer arithmetic can be performed practically so here for doing the pointer arithmetics, what I have done, I have first of all initialized an array of length 5 and have initialized the elements as well like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. The size of array is 5. And I have assigned the address of that array means the address of 0th location to this IP that is integer pointer. Now you can see like here I have written ARR means the name of an array. The name of an array is nothing basically but a pointer which holds the address of the base location. Base location means the first index, means the zeroth index. So either you can write it like ampersand ARR 0 or you can simply write ARR only because both means the same. Ultimately, you are storing the address of zeroth location, zeroth index to this integer pointer. So, if I will try to read the value out there, like let's say percent %d, let's break the line after that. And here I'll print the value which is stored in the address of IP. So, let's execute and here I can see it's 1. Now, if I'll say IP++ plus plus, means now it will be containing the location the address of next location next available location so as i have already shown you in the figure that if you will do a plus plus in this particular case the address will be incremented by four bits and the next value will be pointed so now three is there in the next location because it is an array and it follows the continuous memory allocation so if i'll print the same thing again here you will find 3. So this is nothing but a pointer arithmetic. Again, you can do it inside a loop also. 
uh, here it's just a small thing so I'm not using a loop so here you can see I can read the complete elements of an array without even using the name of array just by using the pointer and pointer arithmetic but you cannot do the plus plus operation with ARR because ARR is a constant pointer and it will only point to the base location it will not be able to point any other index any other block of the array so this is how you can start working with the pointers arithmetic So in this simple implementation of null pointer as you can see for being in a safe side I have initialized the pointer with a null if I am not assigning the address of any particular variable from the very beginning. So it is better as I said to st store a null value inside it so that we cannot use that if there is nothing. So if I will execute if pointer means if there is any address is stored inside that then this condition will be true otherwise this so let's execute that and here you can see the point the value of ptr is zero which is nothing but null since it is zero the pointer is a null pointer means this particular condition got satisfied the second one but as soon as you will store the address of any particular variable let's say ptr is equal to ampersand i then if i'll execute it again pointer is not a null pointer so whenever you want to write a code for a particular pointer where you are accessing or where you are using the address just make sure you are using this condition so that if there is no address we should not access that particular location 